Hello everybody, thank you for joining me. This is Game God Fluent, bringing you episode 12 of Let's Play 7th Star, a Wolf's Moon Studios RPG, his most recent RPG. Sorry guys, I'm a little stuffed up, but I hope you'll bear with me as we go ahead and load our 8 hour save. The game purportedly has over 20 hours of gameplay. Let's go ahead and head to Southport and see what happens. Scram! These are our supplies now! Looks like we're fighting. We're not exactly decked out for a fight. Ready for one, but... Strike! A bonus strike against your opponent. Oh, a swift attack. Nice. We get a kick and a strike, and we'll go ahead and quadra. Um, we've got War Cry. Raises hit rate, dexterity, attack, and magic. Swift action. Um, sure, why not? We all get War Cry. Nice. Let's go ahead and battle yell. And um, uppercut somebody. You now have Quadra attack. Let's go ahead and kick. Um, we really should have more MP than this, but anyway. Let's go ahead and Quadra attack. And, uh... Wow. We have very little mana. Um, go ahead and use a mana potion on yourself. See how this goes. Feel like we maybe should have focused. Use the flurry with Raja instead of Quadra attack. So I don't think we're gonna kill any of them. This might. No. Oh boy. We could be inferred here. Apparently not. Oof. Okay, um. Let's go ahead and triple attack. Uh, I guess we should rally, eh? And let's go ahead and use your turn. Let's battle yell. Killed one of them. Let's go ahead and have you use a mana potion on... Um... Seer, Raja, you should go ahead and flurry on that one, and Vex, let's lay on hands, very nice heal, uh, let's go ahead and Wrath of Heaven I suppose. Should kill one of them. Leave a few of them badly hurt. There we go. Nothing we can't handle. Let's kick and kill one that's not poisoned. Double attack. Battle cry. Uh, cleave. Kick. Double attack and lay on hands. Let's go ahead and throw another. Let's throw a smite out. Should be over here. There we go. 560. Crit. Level up for Raja. Gain some pretty healthy stats. Um, six great swords, six steel helms, six steel plates, and 900 crystals. Okay, we should know what we're in for here. Maybe use a tent. We have four of them. Saves episode 12, and uh. Well, everything looks fine here. That's a good sign. 
They must not have been attacked yet. Guess we really did get here in time. What was your voice? Truly a blessing. Wow, they may not have known anything about it. I guess let's look around and then go talk to the village chief. Where am I? Oh, down here. My child keeps wanting to climb. That's dangerous. Get down at once. I'm going to be a great fisherman when I grow up. We can fish here. This is the fisherman's village. The men of the village just came back from fishing a while ago. Shouldn't have used the tent, but I was expecting a battle. I'm a fisherman, and when you're out there fishing, you never know what might happen. Which is why we use our home as an inn, so that our life is more stable. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm preparing food now that my husband has returned from fishing. Okay. Anyone staying the night? Let's see, the item shop. Um, can we get through here? Take a look around, we've got anything you need. Sell Phoenix Downs, sell rejuvenation potions. We're pretty good to go. Granny? It's a relief when the men come back from fishing and the village livens up. My son headed to the bar after fishing. His wife's off drying fish. I'm watching over his house. Lots of fishing going on. This is the fishing village. Pretty humorous that they're all so into fishing, but that's cool. Guess that's the elder's house. No matter how tired I am after fishing, that tiredness just flies out the window once I get to see my child's face. Our daughter is always so happy when her father comes back from fishing. Just a little while longer till it's time to eat dinner with Daddy. Okay, some world building. What do we have here? Chief's house, up there. Once the men come back, it's our turn to get to work. Oh, so busy, oh, so busy. Let's go see what this is. Found Zodiac Pendant. Wow, it must have washed up from the ocean. What the heck is a Zodiac Pendant? Oh my gosh, look at those stats. A gorgeous necklace with magical enchantment raises main attributes. 15 HP, 15 MP, 5 attack, 5 defense, 5 magic attack, 5 magic defense, 5 dexterity, hit rate 1, and evade rate 1. Um... Could somebody else benefit from that more? No. You only have 119 HP. Put that on. But let's give the General's Necklace... to Vex. Lose some defense, but that's okay. Gains 5 MP, 5 attack, 5 magic attack, which we want. 5 dex, 6 hit rate, and 3 evade rate. Nice. Quite a find, washing up from the the ocean. I'm in the lowest position of the fishermen, so I clean up after fishing's done. I want to hit up the bar soon. You do not possess the skills to fish this area. Darn. Probably need one more level if I were to guess. Um, there's a cave back there and a bar. It appears he fell asleep in the middle of his meal. Hey, madam, my food's not ready yet. There are others ahead of you. Just wait a little longer. The fellows come back from fishing with incredible appetites, so it's not enough that just me here. My mother also helps out. I've been eating these meals since I was a kid, and they're just as delicious as ever. That is so nice of you to say. I was out fishing since the morning, so I'm really hungry. Once I've eaten my fill here, I'll sleep like a baby when I get home. I'm still single and living alone, so the food here is like a home-cooked meal. 
Looks good. The food here tastes even better after a big day. Okay. Um, before we go to the chief's house, I wonder if he'll let me in here. Southport Passage. Uh... What does that say? Anything? No. Alright, let's go visit the chief. See what's cooking, besides fishing. Oh, there's something over there. We'll definitely get to that. If we can get over there. Let's see what his wife has to say. My husband is the village chief, and he's also the head of the fishermen. He stays very busy. All the fishermen are back for the day. You never know what the ocean will bring. I am a seer. We come from Reinhardt. Oh yes, I was expecting your arrival. Were you also expecting the arrival of mercenaries trying to steal the shipment? We just took care of a group for you. My word, things are truly getting out of control. Seems like the North will stop at nothing. We have to get this gear to the front lines at Reinhardt. The soldiers need to be equipped. Well, that's what we are here for. I want you to ride on the ship and we'll head out tomorrow. Rest here for the night and in the morning the ship will depart to Reinhardt. Send my best to King Reinhardt. Sure thing. Um, I'm not going to rest here yet till I go on that Southport Passage. And why is that pumpkin so colorful? Oh, it's not a pumpkin, it's a girl's head. We dry the fish like this after they're caught so they last longer. Look at that, it looks like a pumpkin. Bloody amazing. Um, we can speed in these, no enemies. Aha. Uh -huh. Received Genji gloves. And a little ditty. Um. Oh, Genji gloves would be. Um. I don't know, what would it be? Oh, look at these. Red allows you to wield two weapons, gain an extra attack. Oh my gosh. The Genji gloves from Final Fantasy VI. To wield two, wait a minute. It wouldn't work on you, right? No, just two crystal katanas. The MP would be nice, but I'm not losing that. Um, let's go back to the status ring. Yeah. Uh, who can use a second weapon? Probably Margrook. Vex might not stay with us much longer. Raja is using a shield of valor, which is good. Margrook would make the perfect person for it. He's going to lose... Well, he's going to gain 5 MP, which is good. 5 attack. 5 hit rate. Lose a little defense. His defense is already low, but... To do that or the status ring. So, Genji Gloves. Second weapon. Another Mithril Axe. 71 to 86. Critical rate up one. Gains a second attack. Let's go ahead and synthesize... A mi another mithril or another crystal axe. Booyah, let's go ahead and synthesize some of this other stuff. Crystal lance. Boom, even more. 96 attack, that's crazy. Didn't level up though. A Seer's attack is 79, which is really high. His is 96. Oh, what's Vex's? With the hometown of Reinhardt, Vex finds himself on the same side of Quarry and her friends. His magic is 42, Raja's is 49. Raja with a respectable 57 attack, but 96. Bruh. That's incredible. 
Nice upgrade there. For show. Okay, so I guess that's everything here. Um... Guess we're not fishing. Wait a minute. Make sure there's no... Okay. Let's go ahead and save. Oh, we've probably got to go upstairs. Oh, the kids. Southport Chief's daughter. I wonder if when I grow up I'll spend my days praying for my husband's safe return home. I want to go fishing. I wonder when I'll be allowed to. Couple of desks. Um, where do we rest? Surely this is the kids' room. Said rest here. But there's no room. Oh, I guess we have to rest in the inn. Fair enough. Five G for one night. Okay, do we go visit the chief or go right to the ship? Oh, the ship's another map. We didn't even have to rest, I don't think. Let's go to the ship. We're all set and ready to go to Reinhardt. Are you prepared? Uh, yes, let's go. It's good to know that something went according to plan. Things are really starting to work out for us. The North did attempt to apprehend the cargo, but they didn't seem to be super committed to the cause. Had we not been there, however, they probably would have succeeded. Lucky for us, you were there. Who is your new friend here? I recognize you. I am Vex, my king. My wife and I have a home in the city. I was adventuring through the Knoll Burrow when I met up with the seer and his friends. They helped me and I helped them. In turn, that means you helped me. I'll see to it that you and your wife receive some compensation. Thank you, King Reinford. I will take my leave. Okay, bye, Vex. So aside from that, no problems. Everything went smoothly. Southport was also nice. It was my first time there. Glad to hear it. I assume Quarry and Garion would return before long. Wonderful timing. Garion, Quarry, welcome back. Please, tell me how it went. Everything was taken care of, sir. Is that it? Warwick was close to being in a particular state. With the help of his alchemist, we took care of things, and he was extremely hospitable. He even offered to help us when the time comes. Warwick is honorable. I knew that I could depend on you too. Garion will talk again soon. Yes, my king. Quarry, as always, it was a pleasure. See you again soon. So, now is the matter of the mines we'd had, we've had sealed off, and then the Dark Elves to the southeast. Since Asir and his friends just secured a shipment for our kingdom, the mines are less pressing. We need able-bodied people on our side. Quarry, you and your friends have to get the Dark Elves to assist us. We have always left them alone, and they us. However, it's time to bridge the gap. I know that I am putting a lot on you, but this has to be done. I actually think that it will be fine. They're intelligent enough to know that we will need each other. If Reinhardt falls, they would be next. Their leader knows this. Before I forget, were you able to get some of our equipment to our shopkeepers as well? Make sure you have a look. Oh, nice. Here is some extra gold in case there is anything you may require. Received a thousand gold. Thank you, King Reinford. We will head to see the Dark Elves after we have rested. Nice. Head southeast through the Shadow Valley to the town of Blackrock. Visit with the Dark Elves. Are we able to take that package that's somewhere around here? Or it's a locked chest or something? 
that was in this game, right? I'm not sure. And why are you the leader of the party? Maybe it wasn't in this one. Might have been in Barry of Wrath. Uh, no, it was in this one. It was somewhere around... Uh... I think. I think it was down here, maybe? Yeah, and up there. No, it wasn't. Huh, I guess that wasn't a different game. Unless there's still somewhere else to go here. And it said, well, why would you try to steal from the king? It was in Barry of Wrath, okay. Have I ever been up here? Yeah, nothing. What if we get Garion's and Vex's equipment back? Probably not. They're entitled to their equipment. Alright, let's go ahead and find out, though. Surely Quarry should be up here. A seer here, a Margrook there, and Raja there. Um, Quarry, I missed you, girl. Silver Shield. Defense, MP, evade rate, plus 8. Wow. Yeah, that's an upgrade over the stat. Oh, 35% resistance to all statuses, right? Face of horror. Uh, monster mail, wearing only the best. Two rings of learning. You know what? Let's take off a. Uh, let's leave them on, actually. A seer. Um, no, just looking around and seeing what we can do here. Um, Zodiac Pendant. Let's go ahead and give that to our girl. Wow, 15 HP and MP, seven attack. Her attack's only 62 now though. Four defense, seven magic attack, 60 it's, magic is nice. Four magic defense, seven dexterity, 99% hit rate, plus three. Critical rate, plus one, and evade rate, plus one. Zodiac, pendant. And a seer can wear the moon pendant. See what it gives him. One evade rate, four hit rate, three dex, one magic defense, three magic attack, one defense, three attack, five MP, and five HP. Now let's go ahead and check Mark Rook. He's pretty much taken care of as well. You know, the fact that he has such a high attack... Oh, it loses magic attack. I don't really like that. He does have... He does have some magic. Rally, battle, yell. Doesn't say that those are strength, though, but... Presumably, you know they are. He has chakra magic. Poison claw. Let's see. Defense? No. We'll keep attack. Defense? No. Magical Gi. Um, ring of Magical Resistance. How about a r status ring? 35% resistance to all status. Loses some stats. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put it on. 
and a general's necklace. Okay. Alright, let's save. Um, now, let's look at some synthesis. Monotinctures. Make another ten of them. Don't know how to level up any more alchemy. Craft weapon. Um, we need bone chips and magical essences. Can't do anything here. Bone chips and magical essences. Golden is not really too useful. Alright. Southeast would be this way. Oh, jeez. 484. That was a crit. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> Guess we go through this forest. Okay, so what do we know about this place? Shadow Valley. Be cautious of the worms. There are many creatures here that can poison and disease us. Some can even place a curse on you. It's no surprise that the Dark Elves made their home so difficult to reach, though. Many of the other tribes and races hated them just for being different. I can relate. You become strong or you die. Sometimes it's that simple. Can we fish her? Dang. Um, I actually want to probably go back and fish. Get our fishing back up. Um, I'm not actually sure where that would be, though, to go. Let's see how tough the enemies are here. They look rather challenging. Um, forgot how she works. Let's go ahead and wrath it. A seer. Kick the spirit. Um, go ahead and quadra attack. Margrook. I'm gonna battle yell. Does very little damage. How about a war cry? And go ahead and uppercut the spirit. And finally, kick the spirit. And quadra attack. Let's see how this plays out. Nice little wrath. Oh my gosh. Wow. We might kill them all in the first round. So still not a really tough challenge. But, uh... It is what it is at this point. The game is fairly easy. It's just an easier game. I wish it had a tougher challenge, but it's not to be. Level 21. 2 attack, 2 magic. 6 health. 2 magical essences. Nice. Files of charisma. Um, who knows the craziness we'll find here. Elven garb. Is that going to beat out monster mail? No. Garb that gives 35% resistance to sleep, confusion, and fascination. I don't think we're going to see a wearer for that. Oh, pardon me. I did not realize it was that crazy. Oh, losing 10 attack, though, on the magical gi. Magical gi. Magical gi. Um, you know, your attack is so high... Would it hurt to get 10 more dexterity? And a little bit more defense? No, it hurts your magic attack. Alright, forget it. We're not using Elven Garb. Elven Hood. Oh no, that looks doable. But not for you. Let's see who else can use the Elven Hood. Hmm. 
This is some important stats. 35% resistance, right? Um, don't think you're going to be able to use it. No. Alright, so nothing on the elven stuff. Let's wrath it. Quadra. Battle yell. Um, war cry. And let's go ahead and rally even. And let's go ahead and overcut. Kick the spirit. And Quadra, go all out. See how this goes. Spirit fire. Okay. Got us with that one. Nice counter attack. That would have probably killed a seer. Get rid of that spirit. 2,334. What? Alright, let's touch of light a seer. Um, let's go ahead and Heavenly Armor. You can double attack. You can just attack that one. And you go ahead and... Flurry. Wow, look at that heal. Wicked. Two level ups. The seer gets a 17. Two dexterity, one vitality, 13 life. 16 life from our group, one vitality. Nice. Kind of leveling up his vitality. Two magical essences again. A black onyx. up though. Elixir of Strength. We'll use that near the end of the game. Those All those elixirs and things are picking up. Okay, here we go. Let's see. What's Hero's Light? Revives a Fallen Ally. Um, probably want to start off with a Quadra. Okay, it's a worm. Kick it. Kick the worm. Oh yeah, we should have this pretty easily. Quadra attack. Wait, what was strike? Oh, bonus attack, right. Don't forget to use that. Quadra. Um, war cry. Uh, uppercut. And kick it. And let's go quadra on it. Another smoke. It may get an attack off though. Unless we land some crits here. Wow, three quadra attacks. <laughs> and then, okay, double. Okay. Mmm. Enough to give our art attention a little bit. Margrook almost died. Um, but we can just go right into, uh, better off for Raja to heal. You go right into a triple attack. You go right into a triple. You go right into a cleave, and you go ahead and chakra us up. Not gonna get the chakra. Okay, there goes a worm. Dragon ore, magical essence, soul essence. Let's 
Let's use Cure Wounds. We don't have the Mana Bot who restores mana for everybody. Who was that anyway? I forget the name. Let's go ahead and use a Mana Potion. Now let's use a let's use our Minor Manas. You have a ton of mana. Should be enough. Let's come up here and collect our goodies. Wrath. Kick the spirit. Oh, it landed that time. Strike the spirit. love the combat and this is still very fun these hours later well, we're only eight hours into it so it's been an intense eight hours though it feels like very densely packed um, quadra attack Another 2,000 damage. Don't know why that's doing so much damage, but I'm not going to argue with it. Very nice. Level up for Raja. Learn Strike. Free Strike. 2 Dexterity, 1 Vitality, 14 Life, 2 Mana. More magical essences, three of them. Really wish I could get fishing going, but mana staff, um, staff user. I guess it would be quarry. No? Huh? Who could use a staff? Not you. Hmm. Okay. Arima. We can kick, we can strike. Oh my gosh. Let's go for a quadra. Uh, just uppercut it and... Strike. Be just fine with a quadra attack. Overkill. Level up for quarry. Two mana, one vitality, seventeen life. Nice stuff. Silk. Very good. Elven ring. Oops. You need to sleep fascination and confusion. Um... Not really gonna use it. What do these statues do anything? Okay. Wait, did I... Was there anything up there? Uh... I mean, might as well. It's pretty much overkill, but still. Overcut. And wow, pretty easy to land crits on that thing. More silk. No, okay.
more goodies. Okay. Start with a wrath on the Daedras, huh? Pretty interesting. They look like those, um... Starts with a C. What are they called? Hmm. <coughs> Clan fears. Quadra them. Get a battle yell going. Let's go ahead and level up Rally a little bit more. And definitely want a war cry. And finally, uppercut. You strike. You kick. And then quadra. Go. Nice. Equal opportunity attacks. Seven fourteen. Little touch of light on a seer. I think we can just attack this thing, yeah. Level up from Mark Rook to attack. Almost taking him to a hundred. An attack, magical essences, bunch of gems. Same battle again, let's wrath it. Just want to keep leveling these skills is the thing. For if a point does come where it is necessary. Quadra. Let's watch it happen. Man, that does massive damage from him. It doesn't seem to miss. A seer. Pretty earnest level up. Two magical essences, a bunch of cool gems. Elixir of Mana. Uh, let's see what we can synthesize. Anything? Yes. Some silver armor. Another monster mail. Um. Wonder if we should do a monster mail. Uh. Let's go ahead and save. And then... Okay, we have to wrap this episode up anyway. Let's check a monster mail. You know what? Let's... It's probably going to be good, but let's unequip yours. And see who else can use it. Wow! Look at that. One evade, one magic evade, two hit rate, ten dex, twelve magic defense. Finally, he'll have good defense. Eight defense. 10 MP, 10 HP. Okay, so that's for him. How about a monster mail for you? Equally impressive. And for Raja? Also impressive. So, we need as many of these as we can synthesize. Um, that'd be two. Now we have three of them. Let's give them right down in order. Monster Mail. A Seer. Monster Mail. And... Uh, do we want our healer alive or Margrook? Margrook heals too. Does not raise any of his attack or anything. 
Yeah, he wants the defense too. Boom. There it is. So I'm going to save here and say thank you guys for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And I hope you're digging the game. Much more to come. I'm going to keep playing it. See no sign of stopping anytime soon. So there's that. And I uh, hope you guys will stick with me too and keep on rocking in the free world. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate your viewership. Um, take care. Until next time, much love, peace, and joy. And I will see you back with more Shadow Valley next time. Seventh Star. Bye-bye.